Okay, so we back with another reaction video. Today we're going to be reacting to a video called "What If the Titana Boa Snake Did Not Go Extinct," uh, and it's uploaded by Riddle Triple D's. Um, so, like, you know, I'm familiar with the prehistoric shit. Y'all try to, I, I, I find it so fascinating. What wandered the earth before myself? So it's very interesting. I really love learning about this shit. So sit back, relax. Get ready to learn, motherfuckers. Can you immediately name the largest snake in the world? Titanic boa. It's a Titanic boa. Name of a very famous horror movie. Do anaconda? Guess? No. Right. It's the anaconda. I mean, we pair but it with the largest crocodile, Cassius, weighing almost one ton, you can write a script for a new horror film. Okay. But these giants are just babies compared to those that once lived on Earth. Right. For a long time. Everything on Earth before fucking now was big as shit. So anything that you see in the fucking Earth, when you go outside and you see shit, yeah, imagine them shit's fucking ten times bigger. Take shit is crazy. Example, and Titanoboa. Yeah. Once these two predators were a threat to all life, both on land and in water. Yep. But what would happen if they still live today? Could human? Not gonna lie, uh, me and Chris was playing uh, Ark Survival. I'm sure y'all, I don't know if y'all know what the fuck it is about that prehistoric. We got dinosaurs and shit. Uh, we got fucked up by Titanoboa. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Just like I didn't even know they had them big ass crocodiles or alligators. I'm sorry. Like I said, uh, they didn't have them um, on the fucking game. Them bitches were big as shit. They fucked me up, yo. I've never been on that side of the map because I was always too much of a pussy. I'm sorry. Humanity survive, or would it be the end of us now? We're going to die. It's the end of us, motherfucker. Monsters that terrorized everything in their path. Deep throat, bitch. learn <clears throat> when and where these monsters lived, and then we'll bring them to the present. You'll see whether these giants will capture our world, and if people will be able to put up a fight. Something I don't know. that today it's going to be very hot i guarantee whatever the case may be i guarantee whatever the case may be it's going to be those fucking select people in this world that if those shits did wander they're going to be the ones to try to fucking eat them oh mm, it tastes like chicken people will love fucking saying all types of fucking animals different animals and meat tastes like chicken oh frogs taste like chicken uh iguanas taste like chicken deers taste like chicken everything fucking tastes like chicken apparently but i guarantee it'll be somebody out here oh you tried that tattoo uh, Titana Boa. Yeah, I had some last week. It was good as shit, wasn't it? Yeah, it tastes just like chicken. Shut your dumb ass up. The time machine. Let's get to know our characters better. We'll start with Titana Boa. This ancient snake lived about 58 million years ago. Yeah. And according to scientists, for at least 10 million years, it was the largest predator on the planet. It's crazy. Its length reached 13 meters or 43 feet. God and damn. It exceeded a ton. Can you? Imagine this giant. Here's Fuck no, I don't even like snakes, you. bro. If you lay two giraffes on the ground, then Titanoboa will still be longer. Or That's you can just crazy. look at these two vertebrae. The model on the left belongs to the anaconda, and on the right, Titanoboa. Damn. It turns out that the largest snake living today is half the size of the ancient reptile. Damn. The mega snake could reach one meter or three feet. It could easily swallow a young hippopotamus. True, in ancient times, Man. there were no hippos. Yeah. Titanoboa preferred to eat fish, and this monster could be... Uh, I feel like a hippo would put up a fight. Them hippos are fucking ruthless, in man. In addition to fish, it could feast on crocodiles. It was a sophisticated killer. The giant monster attacked its victim and strangled it in its strong... I mean, that's what every snake then does, right? The snake swallowed it whole and digested it. I think that's what every snake does, time. though. The victim suffered a compression force comparable to one and a half times the... I'm sorry. I know I keep pausing it. But are you trying to tell me I'm the only person on Earth that just don't like snakes? Like, not, not, not don't like snakes. I know there's people out here that don't like snakes. But I hate snakes. Like, I hate them as in, like, I don't like them and I'm just fucking scared of them. Bro, you're trying to tell me that a fucking snake... It's a natural fucking like being like, yo, that motherfucker has no arms or legs and that bitch is just moves. It just glides side to side to side. That's how it moves, yo. And then they eat shit whole. I mean, I know that's what reptiles do. Reptiles eat shit whole. They don't, you know what I'm saying? But that shit is crazy. All the shit together. Like that shit is just wild as fuck, yo. It's like how you got fucking muscles, man. Like it's, I forgot the name of the snakes. Um, It's a snake that eats shit. Uh, but when before when it attacks it, it it obviously it, it grabs the prey, it bites the prey, 
and holds it up. It holds its uh, head up so the motherfucking prey can't get on the ground and even have a chance to get away. I forgot the name of that snake, but it's like, how the fuck you got muscle to hold up a fucking a rat or some shit? Like, God damn, yo. You, like, that shit is that's just not natural to me. I'm sorry. I can't get hit with snakes, yo. So, put in numbers. That's 28 kilograms per square centimeter. Oh, damn. 400 pounds per square inch. Even though the Chronosaurus was smaller in size, it was also a very bloodthirsty predator. Mm -hmm. Its wide open mouth, full of many small teeth, speaks for itself. And the size of the predator is comparable to the dimensions of an orca, also damn. called a killer whale. To be Them bitches more vicious precise, as shit, too. The Chronosaurus reached a length of more than. 10 meters or 33 feet and it's Shit, still like shorter than the anaconda 12 tons in its appearance it was remotely similar to a modern crocodile only in a very it had fins version. and shit yeah and it had fins too i mean you can't forget that close comparison it was also a skilled swimmer that probably attacked its prey from the depths chronosaurus had a very powerful rib cage four flippers and a small tail it literally gnawed at its victim leaving no chance for survival that's crazy bro have encountered titanoboa they lived in different periods right and even perhaps loved a different habitat chronosaurus could live in fairly cold southern seas but titanoboa loved a hot climate but this didn't stop the two predators from instilling fear and terror into all living creatures in Yo, the area shit is fascinating now, as fuck let's imagine that these two monsters didn't die out right they still peacefully coexist with us although peacefully what the fuck peaceful no i wouldn't big question it's gonna be on site they're gonna fuck us up to this day it could well be found in the equatorial tropics for example titanoboa would love the hot climate of colombia okay i don't live there countries like venezuela i don't live there i don't live there i don't live there i don't live there panama okay stay y'all bitch asses over there if y'all was alive protect their homes from the intrusion i feel bad for y'all that live over there i'm sorry but i I mean, it's if they were still alive, then y'all be fucked. Unnoticed into a I mean, Brazil, y'all kind of already no fucked. Y'all fucking dangerous as shit over there. Or even breaking a door. Fortunately, <sighs> this behavior is still unusual for snakes. But all the same, in order to protect themselves from intruders, people would have to surround their homes with high voltage fences. Yeah. And keep a big stun gun under the pillow. All right, I don't Just know about that. Case. That shit ain't gonna do in shit to that motherfucker. Cities, a huge snake would not have a single chance of survival only if the snake doesn't accidentally wind up somewhere under the heating main a comfort that a reptile might appreciate but food in the form of rats would hardly suit it right that's a Either fucking way, snack likely she would that's like eating a fucking cheese it as a food source. one single in cheese it films, the anaconda often devours people however in reality it rarely attacks a person it can be assumed that it's distant ancestors so i'm saying look at that motherfucker that shit is big as shit but for people titanoboa could be a welcome trophy any zoo in the world would dream of getting some and y'all would be dumb as shit and its skin would be a real who the fuck gonna actually sign up to feed that shit these huge snakes would become real national heroes yeah. As for the super snake diet, in our world, it would find something to eat. Alligators, turtles, mm. river dolphins would suit the giant in all respects. Animals on land would also have a hard time. Yep. Giant armadillos, manatees, tapirs, cougars, jaguars, caimans, and Brazilian otters would Damn, be not the big. otters. Sure, adults would be too big. So cubs and young animals are what they need. Titanoboa wouldn't mind eating fish since it's a more familiar diet. Mm -hmm. As a result, the food chain would be broken. Some yeah. animals would probably migrate to safer areas, but the fauna of the forests of Amazonia would be greatly Amazon. impoverished. Although insects and fungi would start to flourish. I thought it was fun guy. Very soon, Correct me if I'm wrong. No trace of the once lush vegetation. Chronosaurus would hardly have liked life in our condition either. In ancient times, I mean, honestly, like, yeah, I'm sure he wouldn't like life. A lot of none of the animals from back in the day, uh, from the prehistoric times, would like life. 
today. Um, like I said, everything was fucking ten times bigger back in the day. That shit was massive. So everything that they would be used to eating back in the day, eating now, that shit is going to be like little ass snacks for them. Like, you feel me? That shit ain't even going to hold them over an hour. You feel me? That shit is not going to be nothing. So none of these animals would like it. But personally, obviously, if I had to choose, I would pick the, um, not the, not the Titanic boy, the other animal. I forgot the name of all these fucking animals back in the day had long ass names. Um, I would prefer that to be alive. It's in the ocean. I go nowhere by the ocean. So it does not bother me. I would assume in any fucking way. So... I would hope it wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? Even but turtles were the size of a kitchen table. Yeah. Just one and feel full all day. But such a monster would need about a dozen modern turtles. And then I still doubt it would be enough to eat. Yep. In addition to turtles, the ancient monster fed on plesiosauria. But in our world, he'd have to look for an alternative. Yeah. Most likely, it would switch to large marine mammals. Damn. It be able to swallow a whale all at once. But in parts, then sure, it could eat it completely. Such a huge body would need tons of food. Like a giant meat grinder, it would sweep away everything in its path. People would Shit. suffer greatly due to a shortage of fish in the seas. And I mean, yeah, but... Itself would be very risky. Personally, though, I like somebody to eat fish on a regular. Look at that shadow. What the fuck, bro? Can you imagine you on the ocean to see some shit that big? And in the event of the extinction of whales, a climatic catastrophe would begin. There would be nothing to extract thousands of tons of carbon from the air. In the underwater depths, there would be a daily battle for life. Given the size of the monster and its ferocious disposition, there could only be one winner. We'd have to forget about tourism and sea traffic in yeah. the monster's habitat yep. completely. Say so fuck that. Would be marked on all maps in I mean, it's still gonna be dumbasses that's gonna try to do go there. So, shit. Practically write their own death sentence. Yeah. If Titanoboa had the most valuable skin, then a Chronosaurus would have had its teeth. Small and sharp like a saw, they could cost more than the horns of a rhino. Today, Damn. They're one of the most expensive materials in the world. Their price is about sixty-five thousand dollars for program. some fucking teeth. Expensive. That's crazy, gold. yo. By the way, did you know that there's a danger of the return of extinct animals to Earth? I'm not joking right now. Scientists don't rule out the possibility. First of all, I'm talking about Titanoboa. They don't rule out the possibility because what the fuck do you think they? Where do you think they get these ideas from for Jurassic Park, dude? Like, come on. They, like you really trying to tell me these people just be fucking so smart they just come up with ideas no they ain't coming up like with ideas for movies they can come up with that shit because people are already doing that like people are already jurassic parking shit back to, like they didn't just bring back like a, a red foot ferret or some shit or a red foot mongoose it's, it's something in, in that in that ballpark they just cloned that shit that shit was extinct wasn't it like i said that jurassic parking shit back these dumbasses are going to get us fucking killed. They're going to bring back the fucking Titanic and this shit is going to fucking kill all of us. Fucking, like, what the There's fuck? speculation that it lived at a temperature of 32 degrees Celsius. That's 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And given the growth rate of global warming, such average temperatures can become a reality. I'm glad it will take millions of years. Would you like to Man. see ancient monsters with your own eyes? No. Right in the comments. If Fuck like no. The video, be sure to like I like the video. I like it. I like it. I'm already preparing a new exciting issue for you. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate that. Um, all my subscribers are my friends. Um, or at least those who watch the fucking video. So yeah, go ahead and uh, leave a like on this video. It was a very informative video. I feel very much educated on this video. And no, I'm not bullshit. I'm not being sarcastic. Like I said, I, I love learning shit about this. It was a good fucking video. But um, yeah, I would I would not want to see a pre uh, prehistoric uh, excuse me, excuse me, animal with my own fucking eyes. Fuck that. I'm fine with seeing them in movies where I, I know they're nowhere close to me is fucking fake and shit. Fuck that. It's all dead and over. Fuck hell no. Hell no. Money. Money is what makes the world go round, yo. Money. Everybody wants money. So, oh, I'm going to bring back a fucking uh, something from millions of years ago that was fucking massive. That was just a fucking killing machine just so I can cut off its skin or so just so I can take its tooth so I can make a good, uh, thousands of dollars like what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Y'all gonna kill humanity and wipe us out, dumbasses.